lines at hospitals nationwide are here in Hampton Roads filled with tension. Concerns about personal and professional safety are on the minds of doctors and nurses. Will there be enough equipment? Will the people helping others also get infected? Needless to say, it's a lot for them, too. Ten on your side, Andy Fox has more on how doctors and nurses are dealing. I'm Andy Fox, and we're down here at the Chesapeake Regional Medical Center. We're speaking with Dr. Jonathan Romesh. And, Doctor, I want to take you back three weeks. How have things changed here in the emergency room and at the hospital in three weeks? People that present with respiratory complaints, cough, cold, congestion, anything like that, we have uh, placed into an area. We have 12 beds uh, cohorted off. Dr. Romash is Vice Chief Emergency Medicine. He gave us a glimpse inside the emergency room. People are uh, a little bit on edge because of the unknown. That's the problem with the disease is, is we don't know who has it and who does not. And so we're doing our best to protect ourselves and our patients and keep, uh, keep uh, uh, everything upbeat uh, so we can keep going on. Dr. Romash has noticed a change in the patient over three weeks. We're seeing a total number of patients presenting for uh, evaluation going down. The number of respiratory complaints going up. So far, Chesapeake has tested 184 people. In Chesapeake, 31 positive cases. Luckily, no deaths. I asked nurse Brooke England, does she feel protected from virus in the emergency room? You don't know because some people are asymptomatic, but, you know, I do feel protected, and so... But I have a job to do, so I'm going to show up. Unless, I'm obviously, if I'm sick, I'll stay home. But so far, I feel pretty good. And the hospital staff feels appreciated from people like Jen Silver, District Vice President, YMCA, Southampton Roads, delivering goods to hardworking medical personnel on the front line. It makes us feel special, and it makes us feel like we are appreciated from our community. And we've had such an outpour of love from our community. Which brings us to John Bon Jovi, launching his new call to action song against COVID-19, Do What You Can. When you can't do what you do, you do what you can. What does that mean to Dr. Romash? If you can't be at your job doing your thing, you can't be at school like everybody else can be, do what you can do to help out. So one of the messages emerging, when you can't do what you do, you do what you can. And as Dr. Romash says, he expects things to get worse before they get better. At the Chesapeake Regional Medical Center, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.